So I'm going to answer some of your questions now, and I really hope that I can give some good answers. Um, but also know that you have all of the answers inside of yourself, that you know your truth, and that you are your own universe, that you are a leader, and you know who you are inside. So one of the questions I've got here is, do I have to come out? No, you don't have to come out. I think coming out, the fact that we even have to come out kind of sucks. Like, it's only really based on the fact that people have made assumptions about us without checking in first. The fact that we are straight and cisgender until proven otherwise is a bit icky. Um, it's up to you, you're the boss. You don't have to tell anyone about your sexuality or your gender if you don't want to. If it is something that you feel like you need, uh, then there are lots of different ways to go about it. Perhaps telling someone close to you who you trust uh, could be a good first step and then maybe they can also help you to come out to other people and be a support for you. I definitely recommend having some kind of support, even if it is other LGBTIQA plus young people on the internet or through minus 18, for example, who have a lot of beautiful social events and are doing lots of digital things in this time. Um, another question is, what if I'm not strong enough? I think that that's really valid. I think that it's so real that that's what you're experiencing right now. And there's no rush. You don't have to do anything. You get to decide on that, on that thing on your own terms. Um, sometimes people aren't presented with those sort of options. I was outed by someone um, that made me have to come out earlier than I was ready to, and I found that really difficult. Uh, but you don't have to do anything that you don't want to do, and you're allowed to keep things private about your own identity. Um, but also, if you want people to understand it and reflect it, uh, then yeah, coming out can be a good option for some people, but it's not universal and it's not for everyone and it's not the same for everyone either. Um, another really good question I got is how do you build resilience around negativity? Oof, such a hard question. I'm not sure. I think I do a lot of work to build resilience in myself, but I also think I am really lifted up by my community. I think surrounding myself with people who understand my lived experience, surrounding myself with other trans and gender diverse people, other queer people, uh, means that I don't have to justify my existence to them. And when I am experiencing oppression or marginalization or discrimination for being trans or queer or Jewish or other intersections that may exist within your life, um, it means that I am held in those experiences and I am heard and I can be cared for by others. So I think surrounding yourself with good people so that you're not alone is a really big part of building up resilience. I think also recognizing what no longer serves you and stepping away. So if it's that Facebook de debate that you've gotten into where you're the only one arguing and everyone else is just like not on your side and saying really horrible things, maybe it's a good idea to just step away from the conversation. You don't have to win every argument. I think that when I was a teenager, I really needed to hear that because I was just doing it constantly. And um, you don't have to enter into situations where you're not going to be understood. Obviously, sometimes you will be in those situations, but if they are avoidable, it's important to step away and to go back into your care zone. And I think thinking about what it is that makes you feel cared and loved and safe and comfortable um, can really help and building a strong relationship with yourself because you are the person that you will be with forever. You are your primary partner. You are the best boyfriend, girlfriend, partner of any kind that you will have because you are your own and you understand yourself better than anybody else does and better than you'll ever understand anybody. And cultivating that relationship for me has been a really big part of building resilience that I have worked so hard despite everything and obviously there are so many different barriers that exist for people of different marginalized backgrounds but to build self-love and self-confidence and to enjoy spending time with myself and on my own I think is a really big part and surrounding myself with powerful activists who I am constantly inspired by I think really bounces me back up um yeah and just exist in the gray area you're allowed to not have all the answers um Reach out if you have more questions. Thank you.